on the radio. Uh, a wonderful uh, morning. Thank you for having us. First and foremost, my name is uh, Captain Tazawan of IUIC, Israel United in Christ. Okay. Okay. Can you say it one more time? Captain? Captain Tazawan. Tazawan. Yes. Okay. Yes, Captain Tazawan. Yes. Uh, could you, as you, as we start, could you tell us a little about your organization? Okay. Right, absolutely. So we are a Bible-based movement. Um, everything that we do within our organization, we teach, thus saith the Lord, out of the scriptures, as it is written, all right? Um, we uh, we teach that according to the Bible, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, uh, Caribs, uh, Car Carib Indians, Native Bahamians, uh, those that are in um, St. Vincent themselves, we are of the diaspora throughout the four corners of the earth, the whole world. Black Hispanics and Native Indians, we are the Israelites according to the Bible, and we must keep the commandments of God and the faith of Christ in order to receive salvation. So that's our agenda. <laughs> okay. All right. And today uh, we're gonna be talking, you're gonna be talking about the truth about slavery and the image of Christ. Absolutely. Yes, we are. So uh however you want to dig into it, I'm all here. Um we have plenty of truth to bring to the people. Okay, what may, first, before we get into this, what made you uh, uh, start to, to do this uh, in the first place? Is it like, is it your, you think it's your calling to do this or you just felt a strong need to educate people? It's more so of uh, prophecy being fulfilled according to the Bible. Um, the Lord, it speaks about how when you read, uh, if I have a reader as well, we do things biblically. It's a, it's a mass awakening of God's people. Um, through the indoctrination of religion, slavery, and um, genocide of God's people, we have lost our identity as a race, okay? And so it was prophesied in the Bible that there would okay. be, God, God would put his spirit upon the earth and we would in the last days, find out through the scriptures the truth on who we are. Okay, uh, I just wanted to basically give our listeners and our viewers a bit more understanding before you delve into it. But uh, Captain, feel free to go ahead. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, let me let me get because um just to touch on the scripture based off of what you just asked. Uh, let me get Revelation chapter eleven, verse eleven book of revelation the revealing okay. of jesus christ read that real quick for my reading the book of revelation chapter 11 and verse 11 and after three days and a half the spirit of life from god entered into them the them that and the they spirit of god entered into are the israelites okay god's chosen people uh, so you mentioned earlier about what pretty much brought me to this understanding um, it was an awakening of God's spirit upon us, the spirit of truth. Okay, read on. And they stood upon their feet, mm -hmm. and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So the them that felt, that stood upon their feet were God's people. That were that we have been destroyed through the lack of knowledge, through religion, through politics, etc. Okay, through the colonialism, through the colonialism of. Uh, European slave owners, British slave owners, uh, Spaniard sp uh, slave owners, uh, French slave owners, etc. Right through the uh, enslavement of the, those people and the religion mm -hmm. that they came with, we lost our identity as far as who we were. Meaning that we were the Israelites, and now we're coming back to who we are. Give me that real quick in um, John chapter eight, verse thirty-two. One more scripture. John 8, verse 32. So, <clears throat> before Christ's crucifixion, um, he revealed a few things unto us because we believe in Christ. We believe in the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelations, coinciding as well with the Apocrypha. That's also of the Bible. All right. So, what did Christ say? Read that. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. Mm -hmm. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So Christ said, ye shall know the truth. In order to know the truth, we had to have been lied to in time past, all right? 
And that truth would set us free. So why do we always in these last days in St. Vincent, in the, um, in, in the islands of the Grenadines, why do we fight for freedom, for liberation in lands where we were there beforehand? You understand what I'm saying, sis? Uh, uh, is your name Julian? It's Jill. Jill. Okay. Jillian. J Julian. Okay, all right. All praises, all praises, sis. So we have to ask ourselves, uh, compared to the history, what we were, what we were taught in school systems and education, um, why are we always fighting for uh, treaties and, and, and freedom in our lands, whether we're being the... Um, from the British, those treaties that they still do not honor in the islands and in the Americas. Why are we always fighting for freedom? I guess it's because at some point uh, we realize that we're still enslaved, whether it's mentally or physically, because there's still so many uh, restrictions in terms of things that we should have, uh, we should be able to freely use, for instance, water. Uh, we should have free access to be able to travel uh, without visas or passports and all these restrictions. So I think um, because we, we actually are still a bit enslaved. Hmm. Very good. And that's the perfect statement, what you just said. Uh, we must uh, have passports. We don't have freedom isn't really free as we think it is. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> it's not as free as we think. It's an illusion <laughs> of inclusion for the society that they created for God's children to stay in, meaning they keep us in sin. That's why Christ said this. Read that again. Go ahead. The book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Mm -hmm. And ye shall know the truth. Why and the truth we know the shall... truth? Because we've been lied to as a people. We've been lied to that we, our, our identity first and foremost was given to us by our slave owners. I'm going to ask you one question. What is your last name? Uh, before I'm married, it's Crookshank. It's um, my last name is Crookshank because I'm married, but before that, nine times, Sutherland. right? Nine times out of nine, that name came from a slave woman, right? Likewise, with all of our um, us being descendants of the slave trade, you understand what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> the truth that shall make us free is our identity being reestablished back to us according to God's commandments, okay? According to God's spirit, all right, according to the Bible. Um, it says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? And the truth okay. shall make you free. So when you dig into the scriptures, God's truth is the commandments. God's truth are the commandments. I'm going to show you that. Like I said, we base everything that we believe and say our faith is based off of the scriptures, the Holy Bible. We believe everything does say of the Lord. Read that real quick. The book of Psalms, chapter 119. And verse 142, mm -hmm. thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law and is God's the truth. God's law is truth. Read that part again. And thy law is the truth. So a part of the truth that we shall know is that God's laws will set us free from sin. You mentioned about being uh, men mentally being captive, mentally being enslaved. All right. A part of our laws of us being free is us knowing our heritage. All right. All right. So that's what we're going to get into. What is the truth about that enslavement? I'm sorry if you had any questions. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, it's OK. I'm learning at this point. So feel free. All right. Wonderful. So one of the things that we will lie to upon why Christ said we must know the truth. What the truth really is, is who we are. Religion. Those have been fallacies preached on to us from the time of our ancestors when they were in slavery. And we being the descendants of those children, our ancestors were taught ways by our oppressors. Give me that real quick. Proverbs chapter three, verse 31. This is what happened to us. This is why when you read in the, uh, in the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we as God's children, we've lost our heritage. One of God's laws in our heritage is thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. One of the main ones, love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Even in the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we kill each other over the smallest things. We murder one another. I think just about a month ago, there were mass shootings. 
I saw something on what was it? Uh, Searchlight Network, the the, the uh, newspaper network. They they mentioned mm -hmm. that there was a bloody week in on um, Saint Vincent of our brothers slaughtering each other on the street. So us as a people, the Israelites, we must come back to God and keep his commandments. But we've been taught evil lessons according to our oppressors. This is what the Bible says. Read that real quick. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Mm -hmm. Envy thou not the oppressor. I said, don't envy the oppressor. Don't be jealous of the ways of the oppressor. Read. And choose none of his ways. God said, don't choose none of his ways. Because God gave you ways to keep, which are his laws. Don't envy the ways of the oppressor. Where we have to beg for freedom. Where we have to beg for rights. Where we have to beg to be treated as human beings. Even still in 2023. All right? Where we have to have certain... Um, I think the prime minister just asked for reparations. The prime minister just asked for reparations yes. for the people of Grenada. Because of slavery. that Why is that still prevalent today? Because the illusion of freedom has, be, has gotten us to believe that when we have jobs, cars, housing, maybe even a little bit of money, whatever the case may be, entertainment, that we are free. It's an illusion. Christ said, no. Once you know who you are and keep your heritage, which is his ways, the truth, then you will be free as a people. All right. So... <laughs> Um, envy thou not oppressor and choose none of his ways. Not from that. Let's get into it real quick. All right. Um, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. All right. The truth about slavery. Why did slavery happen upon us? All right, let's go. Deuteronomy 28. Verse the book of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Well, we have to ask ourselves, to observe. this is Moses of the tribe of Levi. Modern day term of the tribe, those people that descend from the tribe of Levi, you know them today as the so-called Haitians, okay? So Moses was a black man. He was a dark-skinned man. He was a black man. You understand, sis? So when we get into our heritage, who was Moses speaking on to? Because this was when Moses came out of the land of Egypt, all right? With his people, the Israelites. So who was Moses speaking to? Verse 39, uh, chapter 39, verse 1. Come on, because I know we got we only have a few minutes. <laughs> Go ahead, come on. The book, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, mm -hmm. commanded the people, saying, so Keep back, all the commandments. So that's good. Moses, a black man with the um with, with the elders of Israel. Now go back 28, verse 15. Come on. Who was Moses? Speaking? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass right. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses was speaking to the children of Israel if they did not listen to the voice of God. How do we listen to God? Read, come on. To observe to do all his commandments. Mm -hmm. And, and his statues, which Read. I command thee this day, on, that so all these curses. Not, if we did not listen to God's commandments, what would happen to us? Read. That all these curses mm -hmm. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Sister Julian, all right. What is a curse a good or is it a bad thing? It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. <laughs> it's a terrible thing. Now, I'm going to give you um another clue or clarity as far as what God is saying. He's saying this simply in verse 15. If you do what I say and you love my commandments and you love me, I'm going to bless you. But as a father to his children and as you're a mother to your children, you know, um, um, hopefully if you're, you're your mother, um, if you go outside of what God commands you to do, he will punish you. Okay, so now the curse is a punishment that came upon hundreds of millions of his children that he so loved. You understand? So now, let's see what a curse coincides with punishment. Amos, real quick, chapter 3. Come on, let's get it for it. Amos, chapter 3. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. The word that God spoke against us was the curse, the punishments when we disobeyed his commandments. If you still, guess what? Us today will either be dead or go to jail. So there's a blessing when we keep God's commandments. There's life 
when we keep God's commandments, but there's death if we break his commandments. God said, if you keep my commandments, I'm going to bless you and you'll live. If you break my laws and statutes, a curse or a punishment, you will learn from the actions of your sin. You understand, sis? So now, come on, let's go. Read on. Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, mm -hmm. you only have I known of all the families of the earth. God said he only knew the Israelites that he delivered out of Egypt by the hand of Moses. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's contrary to what they teach in Christianity today. Because when you actually read the Bible, it only explains the historical, chronological uh, dealings that happen to the Israelite people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians of today. So keep reading. What would happen to us when we broke God's commandments? Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. If you don't punish uh, the French, the French's children that colonialize uh, the land in um, Saint Vincent, you don't punish their children. You punish your children, correct? If they do wrong, correct? Correct. So now God said, I'm punishing my children. I'm going to punish my children that I love, that I gave my only begotten son to when they transgress his law. So let's get into one of those punishments. Go back to that Deuteronomy 28. You understand that now clearly? I hope everybody on the airways understands. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were going to say something. No, it's okay. I was basically going to ask. Um, so slavery was basically a punishment by yes. God. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the way he used to punish his, his people. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's exactly what the scriptures are saying. So now what we're going to do now is explain one of those punishments. And what we do is we have to compare it to history that we know of, because what we're reading about is a prophecy on what we know today as history, all right? So history is prophecy fulfilled. I want you to understand that. And we're going to make these links. Deuteronomy chapter 28, read verse 16. Check this out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So look at the history of our people. Look at, let's just look in the Americas or the British for those that are in um, um, St. Vincent in the Grenadines, right? We were cursed as a people in the cities, all right? Whether it be through genocide, whether it be through uh, uh, plantations, working the sugarcane fields, working work the, uh, uh, the, the cocoa fields. Those are one of the main resources where the people of that land, the Caribs, as well as the Black Caribs, who we know today as the um um the, the Saint Vincent people, right? The Grenadines that are there, they were cursed in the city by how? Read, come on. The guys who didn't talk and about. cursed. What was that? And cursed. I'm sorry. No, you good. Well, what was that? The Kali Nago and <laughs> the Garifuna and Kali Nago. That's what they're yes. known as today. A absolutely, yes. That's Go the ahead. name. I can't say. It. I'm sorry. You got me on that one. <laughs> but we know of the history. Okay. So, like I mentioned earlier. Today's history is simply prophecy of the Bible that we're reading fulfilled, right? So now, read that again from the top, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, mm -hmm. and cursed shall thou be in the field. So how were the people in the islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, how were they cursed in the field? They were cursed by the French, the, uh, the, the, the Spaniards, Christopher Columbus, yeah, when he passed through, he was looking for... Uh, uh, gold and resources, all right, as well as the English, the British, all right. What were they? What were they making the Caribs and the Carib, uh, uh, the, the Black Caribs serve to do? What type of slave labor? Sugar cane, cocoa, and indigo. The indigo plant. Now that indigo plant is very, very, very important. All right. Um, it, it, it brought forth different things like antibiotics, things uh, 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 to cleanse. Uh, detox your body and uh, what you call, what do you call it? Um, inflammation, etc. All right. So those were one of the, the the three prominent resources that your ancestors slaved themselves for for who their enemies. You understand? You following that so far, sis? Yeah. 
Okay. I'm following okay, you. Let's, let's keep going real quick. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Read. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. And our businesses will be cursed because this is who we pay. Who do we pay our um, taxes to? Those funds to, to keep those facilities, those buildings, the radio shows in St. Vincent? Your enemies, all right? There's there, along the lines, there is someone that is not of your nation where you have to pay those taxes to to keep those lights running, the bills running, the 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 uh the, the water running in that facility. All right, here we go. Let's get to it real quick. Uh verse uh 47. Read this real quick. No, 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 verse 45. Deuteronomy okay. chapter 28, the verse 45. Curses, the curses were the punishments sent from God. When we disobeyed his laws, we are punished as a people. So now, once you realize the punishment, you can reverse the curse by how, sis? How do you think we can reverse the punishment that God put upon us? By being obedient to his word. There you go. Keeping God's commandments. If you're not a murderer, you don't have to worry about being murdered yourself. If you if you love the law when God said, thou shalt not kill, You'll preserve the life of yourself and you'll love the life of your people. Thou shalt not commit adultery. A lot of our music nowadays filtered, filtered through our minds. The, the youth of the minds today, they, they love to speak and preach about adultery. They don't know God's laws, God's commandments, because it's not taught in religion. And that's what we're going to get to with the image of Christ, the true image of Christ. All right. Christ wasn't walking around talking about uh, Christmas or anything of that fashion. All right. Or it's OK if you sin. God is going to forgive you anyway. And that's it. Don't keep any commandments. No, Christ kept and he taught the commandments for the people of Israel to keep. All right. So give me that real quick. Deuteronomy 28, verse 45. Come on. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Mm -hmm. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee so and overtake thee. What I'm going to explain is a curse that came upon the children of Israel that consumed and overtook us that we couldn't get out of. Let's get verse 40, 40, 45, 49. I mean, sorry, 48, verse 48. Come on. Verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, Who are the enemies which the Lord shall send against serve? thee. Remember what we read before. Punishment of God was we served our enemies in the field for sugar cane, for the indigo plant, for cocoa, right? We served our enemies. What enemies? The French, the Dutch, the 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 uh, the, the 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 Spaniards, the Europeans. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee? Why did God send them against them? Us, because we broke His commandments. He sent our enemies against us. Read. In hunger. So we served our enemies in hunger for the food and the resources. Who do we serve? That's a question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're cracking up a little bit there. Could you repeat that? Oh, that's perfect right there. As you can see on the screen right here, this is how we served our enemies in hunger with the SNAP, EBT nowadays, which is government funding foods. They farm the foods. All right. They put all type of uh, st uh, steroids and enzymes in the foods. And then who do we go to work for? To get the foods from our enemies all right give me that up above real quick verse 47 i mean our uh, 43 real quick let me show you what happened because you got to ask yourself i know right now i know especially when you go into uh jamaica right they have what they call in um in in jamaica in cockpit country right um they have what they call bauxite mining where american and government agencies they mine the land of bauxite to produce the resource of aluminum, all right? So amongst all the islands of the indigenous people that were there, why are these governments coming to our lands and taking and robbing the land, genociding the land out from the native people that are there, all right? The, 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 the Israelites that are there, those that call themselves St. Vincians, or I don't know what they call them, the Caribs, right? Vincentians. Um, well, what is it? Vincentians. Vincentians. Oh man, that's another curse. That's a that is a that's a curse name. We have to understand that God never called us this. God never called us blacks. He never called us uh, African. So those um those names you said Vincentians. Oh man, 
That's a curse. The Vincentians. Vincentians. Okay. Let's get to it real quick. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. I got to go to it. I have to go to it. Since we said it, let's hit it on the head. You see how we were cursed in the beginning? Now we were cursed from our enemies, and we had to serve him for hunger, all right, for foods and resources. Read that real quick. Verse 37. Come on. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt become an astonishment. We as a people were a royal, holy people. We would become an astonishment when we broke God's commandments. Why are God's people killing each other on the streets? Read, come on. A proverb. Now we're not known as the wisest people on the earth. Now we're known as proverbs. There's nothing but evil in the nation of our people because we lost our heritage, God's laws. We become a proverb. Any evil saying that they say about us as a nation. Read on, come on. And a byword. Sis, listen, Ju uh, Julian, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name. Julian, correct. it's okay. Yes. Julian is fine. One of God's punishments that he would put upon us from our enemies is that we would become a byword. All right. If I called you Susanna, is that your name? No, it's not. It's Julian, right? So God said, listen, I'm going to call. It's like Jack and Jill. Like, it's Jillian. Right. It's Jill is short for Jillian. So it's Jillian, like Jack and Jill. Okay, right. So if I called you outside of the name that, let's just say, that you are known by, okay? That right there, the name coincides with the heritage that God gave us. God called us Israel, and he called his chosen people by another name when we broke our of uh, his commandments all right when we broke our heritage all right so read that real quick from the top and that's what god is saying one of your punishments is you will no longer be called the wisest and greatest people on the earth the israelites i'm gonna call you what's the name of what, what's the name of the saints i can't say it again vincentians vincentians you'd be called vincentians no longer will you be called uh, the children of god's chosen the israelites you not you. We would no longer be called the princes of the power of the power. You understand, sis? So Definitely. A part of the truth of slavery that happened to us was they indoctrinated us with their philosophies of religion, of identity. All right. So now the truth that shall make us free is: I'm looking at a Jew. I'm looking at my fellow sister of the tribe of Benjamin. All right. And our people that's in the islands of the uh, Grenadines and St. Vincent that call themselves names that God never gave them. We are the Israelites, according to the Bible. What would happen? Read this verse again. Come on. Verse 37. Read it from the top. And thou shall become an astonishment, mm -hmm. a proverb, mm -hmm. and a byword mm -hmm. among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So among all nations on the earth, they would no longer call us the children of God. They know us as the names that they gave us in oppression. You understand, sis? And remember what we read about earlier. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. We envy the ways of our oppressor. And we choose his ways and we forsake our God's laws and statutes. All right. So now from that Deuteronomy 28 verse 48. Go back to it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies How? which the How Lord shall send enemies? against we, thee. We, in hunger. We serve our enemies in hunger. Um, we just had a picture of that. An example of that. Read on. And in thirst. Do we have a picture of and in thirst? Let's get that real quick. And in thirst. Oh, this is crazy right here. So the same resources in the land, you all get robbed of the resource of water only to have it imported back into the island to buy the water that comes from the land. That is a curse. That is a curse. Read on, come on. It definitely is. And in nakedness. <laughs> and what else? And in nakedness because none of our forefathers or ancestors though we picked the cotton on the fields we did not reap the benefits of the wealth from that labor it was free labor all right it was free labor so when we when we when we broke give me that real quick about um uh still if a man uh michael two and two michael two and two the book of micah chapter two Verse 2. Mm -hmm. 
and they covet fields and take them by violence. Who coveted the fields or the islands or the lands or the parishes? All right, of the 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 uh, the so-called Saint Vincent and Gr uh, Grenadine people, the Europeans, the French, etc. All right, because in the history you had naturally you had the Carib Indians. All right, which would be of the tribe, uh, the Northern Kingdoms of Israel. All right, when we look into our history, then when those ships that wrecked those African slaves, so-called African slaves that came from the West Indies, I mean, um, West Africa, when those ships were wrecked. Those refugees sought, uh, sought uh, refuge on the islands of St. Vincent, the Grenadines. Some of them even came from, um, uh, what was it, uh, Barbados, right? They, they went to St. Vincent. They came yes. there. So now, in, in those Captain lands, Tasman, just let me interrupt real quick. Uh, just a reminder that uh, we, we need to wrap up. So you can use this opportunity to just give a brief recap. Uh, I'm going to let you just finish what you were saying, but... Um, we, you can use the rest of this opportunity to uh, recap because unfortunately our time is up and um, just just finish off what you're going to say real quick sorry for the interruption there no absolutely I understand completely um, we, we pretty much we lost our heritage when it comes to the resources of the land we as a people we don't understand that the conditions that we deal with as a people is actually a punishment that God put upon us for us to realize that we must keep God's commandments and the faith of Christ, knowing that we are Israel, to reverse the conditions and, and, and build and work together. So, um, uh, Julian, we, we, we definitely, we thank you for having us on Boom FM Radio. Um, definitely look forward to um, some of our other speakers throughout this week moving forward. Um, you can also remember, everyone, reach us on all social media platforms. Israelunite.org is our website. All right. On all social media platforms, whether it be TikTok, uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, et cetera, IsraelUnite.org, I-U-I-C. Thank you for having us all. You're so welcome. Uh, and let me just invite our audience and our listeners. Um, if you found this program interesting and it's something that you want to uh, continue listening to, uh, we'll be back on next week. So feel free to join um to join us right here on Boom 1069. And um, we will, we are encouraging you guys when you come through, share the live. And, and of course, if you have any questions to ask, feel free uh, to do so. And if you want to call in live on air, um, uh, we invite you to do that because we want this program to be uh, interactive. So uh, uh, remember, we'll be doing this next week. Captain? Has he left? Okay, yes, yes, absolutely. yes, we will. Yes, this week, actually, yes. this week, when we have a session oh, this week, Friday, yes, mm -hmm. all right. Monday. So, that is Israel United in Christ. So, feel free to join us tomorrow, same time, same place, and let's get a bit more interactive as we do this. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of your day. Likewise, thank you. You're so welcome.